Hi, my name is Rich. I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I'm 59 years old and I started to lose my hair when I was a teenager. When I was 20 years old, I went into the Air Force and for those of you who don't know, when you're in basic training, they shave your head. After they shave your head, I noticed something different that my hair was not growing back nearly as full as the rest of the guys. And in fact, when mine did start to come back and sort of catch up with theirs, the back never did. And when I was 20 years old or 22 years old, people started telling me, uh, you got a spot back there, Rich, you got a spot. And I knew it, but I, I just was in denial. And then when I got to be about 25, both the front and the back went into full retreat and met in the middle. And this is what I have today. I've never liked it. I've never liked being bald. I'm looking forward to having a full head of hair again. How did you hear about natural transplants? Well, the way that I heard about natural transplants is the chief medical director, Dr. Matthew Hubner, happens to be my nephew. And he's the one that told me all about it. That's right. So I saw Rich at the uh, at reunions and, and whatnot over the years. and. Uh, now that I'm doing hair transplants, it's hard for me to see uh, see him without any hair up there. So uh, we talked about it, and uh, you know, full disclosure, he's my uncle, and, and we're going to do a great job for him. And this guy's going to look like a totally different person when we're done with this guy. So um, I want to just show you his head here. I'm going to show you some pictures as well. But you can see that he's class six, and he has a thinner hair type. So a lot of people come in and say, "Well, there's nothing you can do for me, right? This is uh, I'm hopeless." And I'm going to show you that, uh, no you're not, so this is going to be great. Uh, and he's nervous just like everyone else is when they come in, and, um, but you know, like you say, there's nothing to be nervous about. The anxiety of uh, thinking about it is, is way worse than the actual procedure is, so uh, that it's a procedure, you're, you're watching TV, eating potato chips, uh, pain free. So looking forward to uh, seeing the results, Uncle Rich. Okay, Dr. Hubner here, Natural Transplants. I'm here with my uncle, Uncle Rich, and um, he's very excited about the surgery. We actually are at a little break in the surgery, so at this point in the surgery, he's had his strip removed in the back. He's all sewn up. He's had a couple Valium, so he feels nice and relaxed. And, uh, and uh, Rich, how's your day been going? What, what, what was it like? He showed up to the office around 9 o'clock. When we got here at 9 o'clock, I was not nervous so much as I was apprehensive. I watched part of the procedure yesterday on an individual that helped to relax me somewhat. But you're never really fully ready when you know you're going to have a large strip of skin taken from the back of your head. The only issue that I had was the small pinpricks when they put the Novocaine in. Those didn't last but five minutes. The ladies were extremely, extremely knowledgeable and sensitive to my desires because I don't like to see the needles and within five minutes of them doing it I felt nothing it was wonderful excellent and uh, you know Rich had some concerns about the needles he didn't want to see anything he didn't want to know anything uh, with the needles came but again the strip was out and he said he didn't you know he didn't realize it really I kind of told him he just really know the strips out and he's really I did not even know that the strip had been removed I knew Matt was back there doing something and finally I asked him I said are you actually taking the strip out and he said uh, the strip is out the first strip is out and I'm going to be able to get another one and I felt nothing when he put the sutures in I really couldn't even feel him pulling them tight it was just, I knew he was back there working. It was, it has helped to relax me so much because you know that you're going to have a procedure like this and you know that there's a large piece being removed from the back of your head. And I was expecting blood and guts and there was nothing. It nothing was, at all. It very was wonderful. Very minimal bleeding and, and, uh, and uh, so part of that is because of the medicine we inject in the scalp to decrease bleeding. Now you can see where his new hairline is going to be. So again, we didn't put on an 18 year old hairline. We put on something appropriate uh, for someone in their 40s or 50s. So um, that's going to be really nice. You can see what that's going to how it's going to reframe the face. Now these lines, this little, this little stuff right here, uh, that is um, just some very minor scabbing and will eventually be a little bit of bruising from where they inject the anesthesia. So that's a very temporary thing. So uh, a lot of people ask what that is in the video. So that's all that is and that will go away. I would make a recommendation also. They have volume available for you before you even start. 
I didn't know that I wanted to take that because I'm a pretty cheap high and it doesn't, I thought the Novocaine would be enough. But I'm very thankful now that I took that volume because that helped me to just calm down. Mm -hmm. I wasn't nervous, I was apprehensive. And that took pretty much all of that away. Good, good. I'm gonna show you what it looks like from the back here. Spin you around. All right, so again, um, just from the back, I mean, his hair is completely covering up everything here, so. Now he's gonna have some scabbing, and you know, it's impossible not to have some scabbing after the surgery, and we'll, we'll check up on him after the surgery as well, but anyway, we're very excited, Rich, and uh, we'll check him in again a couple, in an hour or two, and uh, at, the end of your, at the end of your surgery. Sounds good to me. Okay. Okay, Dr. Hubner here, Natural Transplants. As uh, you can see, our new sign, we're very proud of it. Uh, but I have Rich here, my Uncle Rich, and uh, we've just finished his surgery literally about 20 minutes ago. We placed the last graft up there. Rich, how was your day? How do you feel? Uh, how was your overall experience? I'm gonna be very honest when I came in. I was apprehensive. I wasn't nervous, I was apprehensive. As soon as Matt gave me the volume, and that started to kick in. I found myself relaxing and it made everything so much better, not because I had drugs, but because it just helped me to relax and allow them to do the work. Their work was phenomenal. It was, they were kind, they were courteous, they were professional, everything. They were telling me everything that they were doing so I wasn't wondering or didn't know what was happening. It went faster than I thought. There was TV, there were munchies, there was drinks. Everything was good. I never expected it to be as good, professional, easy, whatever word you can think of. It, the first 10 minutes were the only ones that made me nervous at all. The only pain that I felt was when they give you the Novocaine to numb your skull, and all those were were tiny little pricks. They did not last long. The ladies administered the, anest the anesthesia, or the Novocaine, I guess, very slowly. There was no burning. There was no bad sensation. I went from feeling little pin pricks to being totally numb. In fact, when Matt took the, the um, strips from the back of my head, he asked me, if uh, I had felt anything and I said no, and he said the strips are out. Yep. It was that easy. Yep. So uh, once the anesthesia is over, they really are pain free. Um, he'll have a little bit of pain tonight. He'll have some pain medicine though. So, uh, and, and if uh, you like cheap highs, it's a very cheap high. Yeah, he's a cheap date apparently. Yeah, exactly. So uh, <laughs> the Valium really, uh, really hit him hard, but uh, he feels good now. And uh, you can see what we've done. So you can see where his new hairline is going to be, how he's recreating that hairline. And I'm going to zoom in. You can see how jam-packed it is as far as the top of his head. I guess I was fortunate. Matt told me I had very good strips and he got yes. a lot of hair. And good elasticity, meaning to get another strip. He's going to have about 7,500 hairs on the top of his head now, where before he had zero. So this is going to be a great little change for him. Big change. Uh, now the hardest part is waiting uh, three to four months for everything to start growing. But. Uh, I've had no hair for 30 years, Matt. I think I can wait. <laughs> we'll get ready, man. It's coming. So uh, anyway, thanks again, Rich, for letting us, uh, letting other people see your experience and hear from your mouth uh, how it was. And uh, for people out there that have zero hair on their head and think they have a hopeless case, uh, this is going to be proof that you indeed uh, can always do something about your hair and, and your appearance. And in case anybody is wondering, I will give Matt my, my permission to give you my email address and you can contact me and I will let you know anything that I went through that you might have questions. We appreciate that very much. Thanks Uncle Rich, we'll be, uh, we'll be in touch.